What you're looking at is the K8048 PIC development board. It's put out by Outfit, I believe it's pronounced Velleman. Uh, it comes as a kit. You, ha it you have to put it together. I assembled, soldered all the parts in and stuff myself. It has a RS-232 connection for programming and it has to have an external power supply. The power, it does not come with a power supply which has to be, oh, I don't know, 12 to 15 volts. Uh, you can use a variety of PIC controllers, 28 pin, 14 pin, uh, 18 pin, 14 pin, and 8 pin. And you even have a header for in-circuit programming for an external circuit. It comes with four tactile switches and six LEDs. Presently, it has a um, PIC 16F84A, which is simply going through a count sequence on the LEDs. Fairly easy to use. Um, they go between $20 and $30. You have to assemble them. And it comes with some easy use, some fairly easy to use software, which we'll look at later in the video. And I'll show you how to program it. You notice we have a switch here, and you notice there's a blinking LED. That tells you do not uh, insert or remove the chip. Switch has three positions. Run, standby, you could change the chip here. Uh, I haven't tried it, I always unplug the external power supply, and you have program which when you program it you will see this little LED light up there and you hear the little dingle from the computer go back over to run and that's it uh, for learning a, a microchip pick this is really easy everything is there for you uh, it has a 4 megahertz crystal you have a set of crystal jumpers you change the jumpers depending on what chip you're using. That is assuming your chip needs an external crystal. A PIC 16F28A, for instance, has its own internal um, crystal, or in that case, RC timing circuit. But you definitely need the external crystal for the PIC 16F84. I like the 6... PIC 16F84 at least for tutorials and learning because it's a relatively simple chip uh, has a yeah 1023 bytes of flash RAM and so forth but if you're programming an assembly and you know what you uh, can do are uh, doing it doesn't take a lot of memory but anyway this is to introduce this the next the board itself I like it. It's easy to use. Uh, you, like I said, you do have to assemble it and you have to get an external power supply that doesn't come with the kit. And it's, I think it's easy to use. Anyway, we'll look closely at how the soft. we'll look next at the software and how that operates. Here is some more detail on the K8048. As, this is a top view of the circuit board. You have a power connector, it's 12 to 15 volts at 300 mils. And here is your RS-232 connection to your computer. It has an onboard reset switch. The blinking LED you saw here, it's a warning LED that when you have the switch in run or program, don't pull the chip in and out of the socket. You have a choice of 28 pin, 18 pin, 14 pin, or 8 pin pick chips. You also have a connector if you want to, it's in the um, literature how to connect and program in circuit on an external uh, development board if you wish. You'll see there's a group of jumpers here, whichever socket, and you can only use one socket at a time. And you'll put these two jumpers in whatever socket you're using. That, that, that connects this particular chip to this crystal, which is at 4 megahertz. It's, this is pointed out 
here in this little logo on the board. Down at this end, you have six LEDs. They are actually connected to port B. And you have four input switches already wired in for you. They're connected to port C. Uh, you can look that up in the literature as well. And you can just wire these on together. Later on, I'll show you these pins right here. I soldered some bronze pins that I can um, push wires onto at the top of these resistors. This way I could jumper the output off board onto a prototyping board, which you'll see in another video. And that's pretty well it. So that's an overview of the K8048. Let's look into the programming. All right, this is part of the software bundle that comes with the K8048. The heart of it, of course, is the ProPIC 2. It's an executable file. You click on it. I can tell you already that the COM port won't, it won't work when I try to write in a moment because very simply like this to give you an error in order to show you how to get around the error. Go to my computer. Go to control panel. If you already have a wired in hardware port, you would use a serial port, you would use that. But I'm using a USB to RS-232 adapter. Go to hardware, device manager, go down here. Prolific USB to serial communication port. It is on COM5. Close that. Close that. Let's bring this up here. To five. Let's close it out and recall it again. If you were using the file before, it will ask you, uh, do you want to reload it? I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to load it manually. I want that right there. I should be ready to write now. I've downloaded my file. It's F84 count hex. I have set my uh, device um, to a PIC 16F84A. That's what's in the socket on the KA48. Let's run. What happens? Watch the window down here. Should verify it. And it says OK. And you put your switch on the board back into the run position. And if you can see it, the LEDs are counting right now. So that's the procedure. Make sure you're on your correct serial port. If you're using a USB to serial port adapter, make sure that's working first. My experience has been that USB to serial port adapters, just at least the ones I have, just won't work on Windows 10 and Windows 8. They're such alien operating systems. This is why I keep uh, XP around for a lot of my programming. And that's all there is to it. It's a, like I said, it came as a kit. You had to put it together. You had to supply a transformer and a serial connection, but it's very easy to use. I like it. Um, you, I'll leave a link to where you could get one. Uh, they're about between 20 and $30 for the kit. I like it. I'm not selling them, so I thought you might want to see this. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.